Exprimez-vous. Pensez par vous-même. Créez. Partagez. Diffusez librement et surtout ne vous taisez jamais. Lorsque nous sommes ensemble, ils ne sont rien. Le savoir est libre. Nous sommes anonymous. Nous sommes légion. Greetings citizens of the world. Have you ever sat and watched your children eat, and you eat what was left on their plates, when they were done? Because there wasn't enough for you to eat, too? Those are just some of the words in Yolanda Vestals, a single mother from Texas, wrote on a letter to Barack Obama. With an economy that has done nothing but get worse and worse over the last five years, gas prices double what they were in 2008, only about one third of the country employed, more taxes than most people can keep track of, energy and grocery bills skyrocketing, and now Obamacare threatening to leave most Americans in poverty, people are really starting to feel the squeeze. To address these problems, Yolanda Vestal posted a letter on her Facebook page, and what started out as a way to vent, became a way for others to share frustration over Obamacare and the out-of-control spending of Barack Obama and the Obama family. The single mother of two blasted the president for increased taxes and lavish vacations. The post has received over 63,000 shares. This is the letter. Dear President Barack Obama. I wanted to take a moment to say thank you, for all you have done, and are doing. You see, I am a single mom located in the very small town of Palmer, Texas. I live in a small rental house with my two children. I drive an older car, that I pray daily runs just a little longer. I work at a mediocre job, bringing home a much lower paycheck than you, or your wife could even imagine living on. I had a lot of concerns about the new Obamacare, along with the tax being forced on us Americans and debts you are adding to our country. I have a few questions for you Mr. President. Have you ever struggled to pay your bills? I have. Have you ever sat and watched your children eat, and you eat what was left on their plates, when they were done, because there wasn't enough for you to eat too? I have. Have you ever had to rob Peter to pay Paul and it still not be enough? I have. Have you ever been so sick that you needed to see a doctor and get medicine but had no health insurance because it was too expensive? I have. Have you ever had to tell your children no when they asked for something they needed? I have. Have you ever patched holes in pants, glued shoes, replaced zippers because it was cheaper than buying new? I have. Have you ever had to put an item or two back at the grocery store because you didn't have enough money? I have. Have you ever cried yourself to sleep because you had no clue how you were going to make ends meet? I have. My questions could go on and on. I don't believe you have a clue what Americans are actually going through and honestly, I don't believe you care. Not everyone lives extravagantly. While your family takes expensive trips that cost more than most of us make in two or four years, there are so many of us that suffer. Yet, you are doing all you can to add to the suffering. I think you are a very selfish and cold-hearted man, who does not care what is best for the people he was elected by, not by me, to represent, but more so out for the glory of your name attached to history. So thank you Mr. President, thank you for pushing those of us that are barely staying afloat completely underwater and driving America into the ground. You have made your mark in history, as the absolute worst and most hated President of the United States. God have mercy on your soul. Sincerely, Yolanda Vestal, an average American. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.